The book of 2 Chronicles chapter 15 verses 13. That whosoever will not seek out the Lord God of Israel, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. We're going to start this lesson by saying, Call Allah Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the left out here preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is Jesse back with another Bible lesson. We're going to go into the name of the Lord and how important the name, the real name of the Lord is. Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Before we get into this lesson, let's go ahead and break that shit down. Yahweh is who you ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shah is who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The Rakakadash is the Holy Spirit and Baha Shem means in the name. So when you call on your Lord and Savior's name, you call on the name of Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shah. No longer call on that fake ass name of Jesus because the letter J was invented in 1524. So there's no way your Lord and Savior name could be Jesus. It is Yahweh Shah in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language because the Lord was a Hebrew and he spoke Hebrew. You so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, you are the Israelites of the Bible. You so-called white people, starting with the elite banking families, you are the wicked. Esau, Edom, the devil that the Bible speaks of, lesson for another day. But we're going to go into how important the name of the Lord is and how you're supposed to seek out the name of the Lord. Because like I said in the intro, the letter J wasn't invented until 1524. Now let's go ahead and get it. <clears throat> Whatever this dude name is, Gian Giorgia Tresini, Tresino, or whatever, was the first to explicitly distinguish I and J as representing separate sounds in his whatever. But when was the letter J invented? Until the year 1524, there was no letter J. So if it was no letter J until 1524, why are you calling the Lord's name, our Lord and Savior name, Jesus? It is not Jesus because the letter J was invented in 1524. These people took hold of our Bibles and put that fake ass pagan name of Jesus in our Bible and took out the real name of the Lord, which was Yahweh Shah and the real name of God, which is Yahweh. 1524. It wasn't invented until 1524. Plain and simple. Check this out. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verses 6, says the Lord of hosts unto you, O priests that despise my name. You guys know that his name is not Jesus. It is Yahweh in the ancient Paleo Hebrew language. And you Israelites out here that's calling on them fake ass pagan names of Yeshua and all them other names. His name is Yahweh You despise his name. That's why y'all won't use it. What was Jesus' original name? Like Google is going to really tell you the name of the Lord. Jesus' name in Hebrew was Yeshua. In the modern day pagan Hebrew language, we're talking about the ancient Paleo Hebrew language with no vowel points in it. You got to go back and study the language. Well, let's do something. Let's type his name in. Yahweh Shah. Yahweh. Let's see what comes up. <clears throat> That's what comes up. A so-called black man. The Lord, our Lord and Savior name is Yahweh Bahashim. Our Lord and Savior name is Yahweh Shah. Father name Yahweh. He's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. So when you call on that fake ass name of Jesus Christ, this is who you call it on. You're praying to a pagan God. This white dude, who, who, who is this? Who is this dude? That does not sound like the biblical description that's in Revelation. Let's go and get it. I believe it's Revelation 1 to 14. I'm going to pull on my Bible app real quick. Because <clears throat> I don't want to mess up because I want to be able to go back and forth. Hold on. Sorry about these ads.
we start at one. The revelation of Yahawasha, because his name is Yahawasha, not Jesus, because the letter J was invented in 1524. Cross that pagan name of Jesus Christ out. Insert Yahawasha. Excuse me. Which gave, which God gave unto him to show unto his service things that would shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bore record. Oh, uh, no, no, no. We're just going to, uh, it's just the first verse. Revelation chapter 1, verses 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shah. Revelation means the revealing of Yahweh Shah. So, and then we're going to skip down. We're going to skip down. We're going to skip down because we're going to go into the physical description of what Yahweh Shah looks like. Verse number 14. His head and his hair were white as wool, were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if it burned in the furnace, and his voice as sound of many waters. So his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass is that little caramel. What is that little um, the color? That little brownish color. But then you burn it in the furnace. The black. The top of his feet was black. And the top of your feet is your skin. It's the skin color of your whole body. So the Lord was a dark-skinned man with white hair and red eyes. Does that look like the physical description uh, that the Bible um, has of uh, Yahweh Shah? No. Let's go see. Now, that's the biblical description of Yahweh Shah. Red eyes, white wool hair. Only the Negroes, so-called blacks, got the white woolly hair. Come on, Leslie, we can get it. We can get it. Uh, verse number 12, Revelation chapter 1, verses 12. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I see I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven golden sticks, one like unto the Son of Man, cloth with a garment down to his foot. So he has a garment that's going to be all the way down to his foot, girt about the, about the paps with a golden girdle. You see that championship belt, golden girdle around his waist? That's what the Lord, that's what the Bible's talking about. Our Lord and Savior name is. Yahweh, not Jesus Christ. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, you are the Israelites now. So it's time for you to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keep the Lord's commandments to the best of your abilities. And um, I guess we can end it with this lesson. We got to end it with a Bible lesson. Something along those lines. And we can end the lesson with this. The book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verses 8. The name of the Lord is very important. Only by the name of the Lord can you be saved, right? Zechariah, chapter 13, verses 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, says the Lord, two thirds, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. These are, this is going into you Israelites. Two thirds of you are going to be cut off. And the one third, the elect of the nation of Israel, the Lord is going to save. And I will bring the third part, the elect, through the fire. So you must go through the tribulation. So there is no such thing as, what do they call that thing, the rapture? No such thing. Because the third part must go through the fire as well. And we'll refine them as fire. Silver is refined. And I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and I will hear them. And I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord is my God. Call all Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakadash. Double honors to let thou hear preaching his word in truth and sincerity. The name of our Lord and Savior name is Yahweh Shai. So you repent in the name of Yahweh Shai. You ask for forgiveness of sins in the name of Yahweh Shai. And you try not to sin the next day. You rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, meaning keep his commandments to the best of your abilities. And when you do fail, because you will fail, because only one's perfect is Yahweh Shah, you ask for forgiveness of sins and you try not to sin again. And if you're an able-bodied man, you're supposed to be teaching his word in truth and sincerity. 
All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, On to the next lesson, baby.